Hello and welcome to Dead Space 2, a direct sequel to the previous game that I did not too long ago, taking place three years after the event of the first game, play as Isaac Clarke, the same character, dealing with the same problems, which is the necromorphs, but with some brand new features. So as you can see, the previous thing right here, watch the movie that recapped the event of the Ishimura of Dead Space. If you save your progress from your first game, then you'll get new features that will continue on forth and all that. And over here, we're going to be playing in the difficulty, the hardest one, Zealot. And I'm going to be doing some adjustment with the brightness and all that. So, let's get into Dead Space and watch this first. But before we do that, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So please do that, that would help a lot. So with that out of the way, let's get into Dead Space 2. By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten, the religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Or so we thought. It did not bring salvation. It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis Seven came with them. <laughs> Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. Isaac also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker 
changes all. Well, that was some intro. And now we have this thing. Some distress call from the Ishimura to Earth. I wonder what that's about. Yeah, actually, that was some intro anyway. Alright, so just like before, I am not going to be talking during the cutscenes and all that. So, enjoy the show. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. Oh, no, I'll call you back okay. later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishimer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Until it while it lasts, you know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. Well, just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting on a range there, Shag. Isaac. Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? I found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? Alright, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> So that's what it looks like to be alive and transformed by a necromorph. Boom! Headbutt. And we start the whole game with a bang. And I better hurry up because I'm almost dead. Okay, I'm, sh I'm just going to tell you this, that I'm going to die a lot, so let's not try to get to that. Can we and that was a close one. I was too distracted by, well, focus on what I'm doing, but again, I'm going to be dying a lot. And who would have thought that I could just hear what Isaac looked like and 
sound like. And we're in chapter one. Ugh. I guess some hospitals aren't so clean after all. I just needed to do something, so yeah. Alright, let's see where I am. Oh good, there's some help. Maybe I can get some attention. Excuse me, I need your help. Ooh. I don't think these guys want to help me more than kill me instead. I get too late because whatever is that in the vent already killed them. And I don't think I want to go any further near that vent. Ooh, gooey. Okay, so I don't know where I am, and that guy that tried to save me is already dead in a necromorph form, actually. So, yeah, Isaac Clark can speak, and this is what he looks like in the sequel. Actually, the call looks different in this one than the previous one. Looks more like a Jamie Lee Curtis appearance. Maybe it's just me. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be dying a lot. I've already said that before. So yeah, I'm going to be getting a lot of game overs. Because in the last game, I didn't even die once. Observation. I'm guessing this is the asylum or medical. Uh, ugh, not medical, but the psychiatric hospital. All the people, our patient, are butchered alive. What's this thing? Still hurts? Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. Let me just check around here first so I can see what's going on. Did this man draw something in the feces? And this one's got this guy's dead. I'm gonna have to listen to that video again. I just check around for a little bit. In my head, just more room for anything. I can't remember what he looks like. I can't remember. What he looks like. The symbol, Strauss. And this is where I came from. I didn't deserve this. Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in Stacy. Suggest his medication up 30 milligrams. Let me listen to this video again. We'll try another session first thing in the morning. Subject is Nolan Strauss, Section 158. Now. <laughs> My eyes looking much better today, yes, don't you think? It hurts. It still hurts? Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No. No, no, I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't care. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. 
symbols whisper to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss. What? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but it put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what she looks like. I can't remember what she looks like. The symbols, Strauss. What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Okay, so this is Nolan Strauss person. I'm pretty sure we're going to be meeting him very soon. And I gotta go this way. I really need to find some health and fast. Alright, where am I now? Oh, it's you, the doc, that I tried to interview me, who tried to interview me, and Strauss. Is he crying or just scared or something? I'm just going to sneak behind you without any trouble, so don't mind me. Or not. Come on, man. Thank you for. I remember you. Tied him and said we all the key subjects need to be eliminated. Listen. Terminated. Which one more? Listen to me, man. What matters? Listen to me! We can both get out of here. Just just cut me out of the straitjacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Don't do it. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Your rig is red. It's red. It's a health bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Of course you don't. All right, let me just take this and a flashlight. Let me just restore this, even though it won't help for at least right now. Okay, I got what I want, so what's the plan? Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Okay. I guess there's no plan for both of us. Just me. And this area here must be the cafeteria or recreation room all right so let's just keep on going and that's my flashlight pretty cool or not clock Isaac clock is that you who are you my name is Dana I'm the one trying to rescue you why what's going on you're suffering from a unique form of dementia Isaac something you contracted on age seven how do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Okay, so it looks like I made a friend. And just like before, I can use my locator to pinpoint any destination I'm trying to go. Alright, take my time. Just waiting for the elevator. Ok, 
Okie dokie. Seems like a pretty clean play. Yeah, like I said, a pretty neat place. And there's that room over there is dark now. And it shows me my locator, of course. Last thing I need. Something popping out of nowhere in the dark. That's not a good sign. That's exactly what I'm doing. And this is the same recreation room from below. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be pretty interesting. The same thing going on. And I found myself a audio log. My first one, too. Oh, I could play it. Orderly TPS report 1418. The recent realization that the popsicle sticks were being constructed into marker-like miniatures for over a year has led to a search of the unit for any other such phenomena. It appears widespread, with marker forms being made out of medication bottles, hypodermic needles, and even toiletry items like nail clippers and tweezers. The research teams have all been notified of the discovery. Okay, so some of these patients are drawn to the marker and its effect. Great. Doesn't seem very usual for me to be in a locker. I need some shower anyway. Well, that's good for now, anyway. This hallucination is going to get to me now. And now we can just use the vents to crawl our way. That's what I don't like about this. Like I said, the necromorphs is very intimidating. Right, right now that one of them just got out of the ventilation. Almost like a spider-like form. The way it just crawled out. Let's just get out of here. Alright, so now let's get our rig. So go over here and pull this out. Let's see. Or just our stasis. Something to improve our rig. Aim and press the thing. So in this one, you can use this feature, the new feature. 
pick up any items and toss it in the air. Uh, let me just get this guy. Uh, this thing. And you can use these things to impale your enemies. And speaking of which... More of these things. And just like before... You can collect all the items they have. And just see what's over there. Nothing. Okay. Observation surgery. see where I can where this leaves me more of these things I was going to kick it, but... Come on, get up. More health for me, thank you. Alright. Looks like these javelins things won't help out. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's see. Of course, this thing doesn't have a map anymore, so... Too bad I can't look at the thing, the area. And I already stomped my enemies with it. You can stomp this. And they've changed the box. Instead of the PlayStation appearance, it's just this. Just to be sure. Trying dead. Yeah, trying to fool me with that. Poor limbs, huh? Yeah, whatever. I wasn't paying any attention. And there's somebody over there helping, calling for my help. There's somebody over there in the table. Let's just take... We're not going to be leaving him, though. Let's just find something first. And I got some plasma things. And yeah, more x-rays. This one is tied up tightly. I can hear you. Come help me, please. Hey guy, how's it going? An open heart surgery, I see. Jesus, man! Help me! Would you fucking help me? Calm down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my god! Fuck! 
What the fuck are you oh, doing? Shit! Help! I'm trying! Help! I'm trying! I'm trying! And I'm too late. But luckily, I made myself a homemade plasma gun. Using a flashlight. Hold up a second, just a minute. Yeah, my aim sucks. Creating a plasma cutter using a flashlight and an energy thing, whatever that says. Sucks I didn't save him. Waste my time. Now, what do you know? I made an achievement. Another thing I want to point out is that in this last game, the stomping is a bit slow, but basically they improve it by making it more quicker. Alright, let me take this guy out. Remember the creatures to stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. Okay, now that's out of the way. On to the... On my way, where I have to go. Just to get out of this place. Cut off their limbs. Of course, like I said, I have a lot of practice. Let's see if there's anything in that bed. No, nothing. Alright, let's see if there's any ammo. I don't like your flower. That seems pretty, but no fish. Airplane. Fly. Choo-choo train. Alright, enough fooling around. Alright. I gotta be careful trying that. Conferred my ammo. Conserve or something. Didn't scare me. Alright, let's see where. There's something on that other side, but looks like I can't go over there. Maybe I can go in here. Through here. Reload, of course. And I don't have any weapons. Thanks a lot. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Yeah, that's what I said. Alright, let's see where else. Let's see what this text is. And yes, I am not going to read the text, so feel free to pause it, to read it yourself. Hmm. I mean, who would have thought that another necromorph attack would take place here? met up with Strauss. You know, I think I shouldn't. I really need her help after all. friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! That's exactly what I want to know. How did another... Outbreak gets started. Alright. We just passed a few places here and there, so let's just go back up and see what we missed. I came from that behind me, so let's go this way. Orderly TPS report 1138. Patient 3 has again shit the bed. Patient continues to draw what looks like a marker in anything she can, including her own feces. Her trembling hands have reached the point where she cannot feed, drink, or bathe herself. Her outlook is uncertain. Entry end. Oh, so it looks like I saw the um, marker made entirely out of feces. <sighs> also, don't mind. Also, a side note that my throat is kind of hurting, so basically I'm not speaking too much. But I'm going to try to comment the best I can. All 
All right, let's just go through here and get this first. Let's see. Another text. And I found us a, myself a power nod. Alright, now let's get out of here. So basically we can't go through because this machine is malfunctioning. If you go over here, you have to do something, which is another new feature. Some sort of puzzle. You're gonna have to hack into the machine because that way you can get through things. If you get one of the things wrong, hold up. This happens. So let's try this again. Almost there. And I got myself the stasis. Alright, so let's try this again. So again, I am going to be doing some editing and all that because I'm going to die a lot in this game. Now let's try this again. Ah, now that's done. Now we can go. We can go through this thing. Simple. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, great. A new face. Melted one from the looks of it. Alright, so hold up. Alright, so these things are called pukers. A new enemy from... Well... A new enemy that basically attack you by throwing up toxic vile and all that. As you can see, one of the nurses already killed off. So yeah, let's just keep keep on going. Hopefully this is the exit. What the fuck? Nicole? <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, that was Nicole taunting me again. I don't like your balloons. Alright. Found this. Now oh, that explains. Press Y to refill your stasis. Let's see. I really don't like your gifts here. Ugh, get out of my way, stupid cactus. Teddy bear. Squeaky mouse. Alright, let me check what's in this area. Nothing. Okay, so... Everything seems clear from that point. Critical needs patient. Critical needs patient room. Glass, okay. Let's see what... Ooh, yeah, that's not good. So you're gonna have to shoot this arrow thing to shut the window thing. Alright, so what happened here is whenever you're close to a window that's almost broken, this happens. And you have to do it on time, otherwise you get sucked in or killed. Let's just keep on going. And it looks like I made it to halfway to the exit. Yep. That's not a surprise that these things are still playing dead. Even though that I'm already aware of. Right, so it won't let me go through unless if I'm wearing a suit. So go to the store and purchase a suit for yourself. Okay, so. Oh, look at this. I got a refurbish plasma cutter from the last game so like I said since you save your progress from the first game you can unlock some new features so let me just get this and purchase myself the suit Looking good. Now, let's take care of business. Or just get out of here, this hospital. So, looks like I'm gonna have to sell this plasma cutter. Wait, is it worth something actually? Uh, yeah, it's north nothing. So let's get out of here. Patient on the loose. Thank you for letting me know. Mm. 
Now let's check on something. Escape the hospital, which exactly I would do. Just like gold times. And looks like we got a view of the Titan station. Not a good one though, but we'll catch up to it real soon. Right, like what she said. I wonder what's over there. This is actually a boss fight, or mini boss, I'm not sure. This is called the tripod. You'll see more of them very soon, later. Let me just gather enough ammo to take care of this guy. And shoot it in the limbs right here. Man, my aims are terrible. And there's a stasis to refill, so I'm going there. Alright, got one of its limbs off. It's a pretty simple boss fight. Gotta refill again. Uh, and it also has a tongue thing. There we go. Now it's dead. Let's get that thing, whatever it is. answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tideman tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. All right. Now we're out of the hospital. Let's just find a safe station and call it a quits, just to save it. Let me see if there's a, any place to save my progress, since I took care of this thing. out of the way and get through here see if there's any place to save now let's see nope and that is chapter two 
What's this then? Listen up. This is Sorensen from CEC. Cut off their limbs. It's the only way they go down. It's their limbs. That's the secret. Comms are down. We can't get a broadcast out, so tell everyone you see. Of course we already know then. Limbs. Let's see. Uh, I don't see anything interesting. I'm just sell this and try to buy. this thing, the mine gun. And a few more of this. That's good enough. And we got ourselves some bench and something to switch the weapons. I'm gonna be. I can upgrade my hit points. And let's see. As well as my plasma rifle. And that's good for now. Now we can move on. Looks like the entire place is evacuating, my guess. All the ships are taking off. Uh, yeah, this is the view of the Titan Station. Would have thought. Oh, there's more ships moving there. Yeah, nice try. Bitch. What's going on here? Attention. This is Director Tightman. A station-wide emergency is in effect. In accordance with Titan Station Civic Code, I am declaring martial law. All citizens are ordered to evacuate. Looters will be shot on sight. This is not a drill. Move immediately to the nearest evac route. All right, so it looks like there's an evacuation. Understandable. This is Director Tightman. And here's the safe station, so I'm going to have to call it quits for today. So thank you for watching my video, and I will try better to improve my speech. And like always, leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.